Hi, today I'm going to show you how to solve a pair of quadratic simultaneous equations. So let's have an example here. So we've got to solve x squared plus y squared equals 10 and we've got y equals x minus 2. So if you notice then, y is the subject of the second equation which we have. So the easiest thing to do then will be to change the y in the first equation with x minus 2. So we're going to substitute x minus 2 into this first equation. And when you do it, just put the x minus 2 in a bracket because we need to be very careful. So let's just do this then. So we've got x squared plus, so y is being changed to x minus 2, and that is squared and that's equal to 10. So if you notice then what we've ended up with is an equation just involving x. So we just need to now solve this equation here but before we can do this we need to just expand the bracket and we need to simplify. So this is a double bracket here because it's been squared So if we just expand this double bracket out here, so x times x is x squared, x times minus 2 is minus 2x, minus 2 times x is minus 2x, minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4, and that's equal to 10. So if we just simplify the terms on the left hand side, x squared add x squared is 2x squared, minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x, then we've got the plus 4 equals 10. Now you should notice then that we have a quadratic equation here, so we need to write this in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, so we just need to get rid of the plus 10 off the right hand side, so it's equal to 0. So 4 take away 10 is minus 6. So we've now got our quadratic equation here. And if you notice then, everything here is a multiple of 2. So to make things easier, we can just divide the whole equation by 2. So 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. Minus 4x divided by 2 is minus 2x. And minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3 and 0 divided by 2 is nothing. So we've got a simple quadratic here which we can factorise into a double bracket. So you should at this stage be able to factorise a quadratic equation. So we know the numbers must multiply to give minus 3 and add to give minus 2. So the pair of numbers that we need are minus 3 and plus 1 because minus 3 times 1 is minus 3 and minus 3 add 1 is minus 2 so let me just go up at the top here then so we just now need to solve this equation here so we've got two answers so it's either an x minus 3 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. So if we solve this equation first by adding 3, we get x equals 3. And if we solve this one here by subtracting 1, we get x equals minus 1. So we've worked out our x coordinates then. So we've now just got to figure out the corresponding y coordinates. And the simplest way of doing this is just to substitute these x values into the second equation. So let me do x equals 3 first of all. So this would be 3 take away 2. 3 take away 2 is 1. So our first solution then is 3 comma 1. And let's do x equals minus 1 now, so if we substitute it into the second equation again, 
to give us our y coordinates. So minus 1 take away 2 is minus 3. So our second solution is minus 1, comma, minus 3. Thanks for watching this video.